Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tony Fergie. I want to take the time out to thank all my subscribers. The old ones, the new ones, the ones that just keeps coming back because you love what you hear. Guys, I have an eye-opening video to share with y'all. But before I even start, please go to your cabinet. Check to see if you have synthetic B12, vitamin B12 in your cabinet, or check all your vitamins and check the label to see if you have this product and look at the ingredients and please after the video check the spelling check to make sure you don't have it in there check to make sure you're not slowly taking your own life without realizing it go ahead and watch this video and go ahead and comment what you guys think that same chemical weapon that's an acute toxic flammable environmental hazard and we ship it to compound pharmacies that put it in supplements and protein powders and energy drinks that you drink right you ever heard of a celsius energy drink celsius energy drink has four times the amount of daily cyanide that a human being is meant to ingest four times that's just one sample so drink monster or bang i mean drink bang not not monster or celsius right <laughs> bang has methylcobalamin this has cyanocobalamin so and, and we wonder what you know we're putting these toxic chemicals this is you know where we get the hydrogen cyanide don't make me take you to that website because you'll just get up and leave I want, where, where would do you know where we would get hydrogen cyanide because these these um facilities that actually compound this b12 they don't even pay for the hydrogen cyanide you know where they get it human sewage treatment plants it is the waste from a human sewage treatment plant. It's called sludge. It's foamy yellow sludge. They scrape it off the top, they dry it, turn it into a powder, ship it to a facility, met, synthesize it with a metal, and put it in your vitamins. They take metal, hydrogen cyanide, and put it in our supplements. So that's that's exactly so when you get home tonight I want you to take all of your supplements and protein powders spin them around look for that word cyanocobalamin and if it has it throw it in the trash right and do that for your kids too but a version of vitamin b12 that I would recommend avoiding it's called cyanocobalamin now cobalamin is a molecule with cobalt it's kind of a foundational structure of B12. And then there's different versions of B12. Cyanocobalamin is the synthetic version. It's very, very cheap. It's in pretty much all the fortified grains like cereals, snack bars. It's in most um, one-a-day synthetic vitamins. And if I'm not mistaken, it's also fortified in infant formulas and things like that. And it's definitely in energy drinks as well. And sometimes it has very high doses Sometimes between 8,000 to 14,000 percent are requirements. And the problem that I don't like about it is the cyanide part of it. There's a cyanide molecule attached to this cobalamin that a lot of times people will brush off as being, well, it's, it's insignificant, it's a small amount, our liver can detoxify it fine. But what about if someone's doing these energy drinks, taking vitamins, doing a lot of refined grains, getting massive, massive amounts of this cyanocobalamin. Cyanide shuts down the oxygen to your mitochondria, so it destroys the motor of the mitochondria. In fact, this is interesting. When you get cyanide poisoning or even carbon monoxide poisoning and you go to the emergency room, they have to give you a remedy to counter that. And that happens to be something I've been talking about in some recent videos called methylene blue. Methylene blue is the antidote to cyanide because it bypasses the the mitochondrial damage, and it gives mitochondria the oxygen it needs. And a lot of the B12 injections, they're using this synthetic version as well. And so there is some side effects like vomiting, stomach problems, uh, a potassium deficiency, which can lead to uh, arrhythmias, headache, fever, dizziness, etc. But personally, I think the biggest problem with this cyanocobalamin is the cyanide part. You just don't need a lot of cyanide in the body. But it is true that our liver does have the ability to detoxify small amounts of cyanide, but what I'm talking about is larger amounts, okay? And now, if we compound that on what I am finding on quite a few DNA tests is the inability to fully detoxify. In other words, there are a lot of people that have mutations or problems with their detoxification genes. So if that's a problem and you're taking a lot of the cyanide, you might have a difficult time getting rid of it. Now, on top of that, there's also a very common genetic problem relating to methylation, which is basically adding something to a chemical compound in your body 
to help you detoxify, to help things work better, to help you become healthier. And so you possibly have heard of this genetic problem. It's called MTHFR. I mean, it sounds like a swear word, but it's not. But if you have a mutation with this gene, you're going to have a hard time with methylation, which means that if you take the wrong B12, okay, the form of B12, you're going to have even worse problems. The type of B12 that you need, if you have that genetic problem, the more you're going to need a natural form of B12. And the one I'm talking about is methylcobalamin. Okay, guys, what did you think? So you're telling me that synthetic vitamin B12 is found in baby cereal? It is found in your cereal at home? It is, you're taking it every day. And this is for patients with vitamin B12 deficiency. And this is being given as a cheap version. Did you hear the compound of what it's made of? Y'all, we got to be careful what we put in our bodies and start eating the foods that contain these things. They want us want to go back and just eat off the land because this foolishness has got to stop. Guys, I hope this helped y'all. I hope this educates y'all. I hope you guys take my heed and my word and go to your cabinets and check these things. Check it and just remove them. Ask the manufacturer to take them back. I already checked mine and I realized it does not have it. So, hmm, you need to check yours. Because if mine's dead, they would have to give me back my money. Because now that I know what it is, mm -mm, we're not going to play them games. So, y'all, thank you guys for coming back. I hope this video help y'all. And I hope you guys share the video. And I hope you guys subscribe. Because I know a lot of you guys are not subscribed. So go ahead, subscribe the video. So this way we can get awareness out to other folks. Because not everybody knows this information. Have a wonderful, awesome day. And know that Tony loves you.